Hey everybody out there on YouTube in Focus Goat Land, it's your lucky day. It's time for some words about refried beans. Okay, you got refried beans. Now first somebody has to fry the beans, then someone else has to refry them. But, suppose, could it be the same person fries them and refries them? This could conceiv be conceivable, because you know, it's like a cost-cutting cost measure. Why hire two people to fry and refry the beans when you could have one person do it? However, here's what could be a problem. Let's say scheduling. You got, uh, like, uh, the weekend. Well, let's say one, the, the, the person that fries the beans is off Sunday and Monday, and he or she fries a bunch of beans on Saturday, but can't be around to refry them on Sunday or Monday because that's their days off, so you'd have to have another person to do that. So uh, it, it's just a, a, you should think about this next time you're eating refried beans. Does the same person that fried them also refry them? And what happens to them in the frying and refrying process in the first place? I don't know. This is just the stuff I think about when I'm doing laundry or out doing business. But I can tell you one thing about refried beans. They taste great, and I, I fucking love them. I've loved them ever since I had them for the first time in California, way back in the 80s when I was visiting for the summer. So anyway, who fries them? Who refries them? Is it one person, two people, several people? You got a whole bunch of, you might even have a whole bunch of Oompa Loompas down there refrying these beans for all I know.